Hey, hey! Nixon and I are at Michael's basketball game. This game is extremely important. If his team wins this, then Michael will be in the state championship. This is so exciting. That's what I'm talking about. Go, 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 Michael! My stomach and back are hurting recently. I don't know why, but it's getting worse. According to my research, there might be something wrong with your kidney. Time to pay a visit to your urinary system and see what's wrong. Woohoo! We made it to the first stop of Michael's urinary system. The body's very own filter. The kidneys. Humans have two kidneys, one on the right and one on the left. They are red bean shaped and are located underneath the rib cage at the back of the body. Hey Bobo and Nixon, welcome to my home. I am Kenny the Kidney. Michael has been having sharp pains in his stomach and back area. So I came here to see if everything was alright with you. Oh no! In that case, you should inspect the entire urinary system. The urinary system consists of four key parts. For example, the kidneys, ureters, bladder, and urethra. I know! All of you collectively help Michael pee! That's absolutely correct, and all of us have different jobs. My key duty as the kidneys is to filter the blood and remove waste products like urea from our body by producing urine. After the urine is produced, I will pass the urine along the ureters and all the way to the bladder. The bladder will excrete the urine out of the body with the urethra when it is full. Let me tell you a fun fact. We can actually survive with only one kidney. And that's why we can still live normally after we donate one of our kidneys to others. We will follow the urine to see if everything is okay with the rest of Michael's urinary system. Hello? Hello? Yuri, are you there? Hi, who is this? Michael has been experiencing severe pain in his lower back and stomach. So Nixon and I came for inspection. Is everything okay with the ureter? Something seems to be blocking the way and I couldn't pass the urine from the kidney to the bladder. No worries, Yuri. Bobo and I will find out why. Look, Bobo! Can you see the kidney stones over there? Ah, yes. This must be why Michael can't pee properly and is feeling so terrible. Poor him. What should we do now, Nixon? Let's use some high-energy shockwave to break up the kidney stones. Awesome job, Chipster. The kidney stones are eliminated and the ureta is now back to normal. Michael should feel much better. Now, let's follow the urine to Brooklyn the bladder. Woohoo! Nixon, be careful. There is so much urine here in Michael's bladder. Hey, Bobo and Nixon, I didn't know you were coming. Yes, Brooklyn. We have just helped Michael to break up the kidney stones at his ureter, so he should be able to pee much better now. Exactly. Now more urine is coming down from the ureter and it nearly reaches my maximum capacity. I can't hold the urine any longer, so hold on tight as I'm about to empty the bladder. That's right! Bladder is a hollow and collapsible sac that stores urine temporarily. And the urine will be removed from the body once it is full. Hey, Bubble! Look! I can see the exit there! It is the last stop of the urinary system! The urethra! Urine can be excreted out of the body here. It's time for us to report back to Michael and exit the urinary system. Thank you so much, Brooklyn! See you soon, Bobo and Nixon. Ah! Hmm, but why would I have kidney stones in the first place? I know why. You might not be drinking enough of water, Michael. Water is very important to us as 70% of our body is water. Water not only allows our kidneys to function properly, it also hydrates our skin, flushes out toxins, aids digestion, and improves liver health. 
Isn't that amazing? Let's cheer with a cup of water to stay hydrated together. Cheers! Want to watch the full video? Sign up now and get started with your own free trial.